New York state lawmakers continue to discuss and express concerns about the migrant crisis. And today our New York Capitol correspondent Elise Klein brings us the latest from Albany. Elise, what are you hearing there? We're not a good evening. Some lawmakers stress concern about an alleged assault by migrants on NYPD officers. And the migrant crisis continues to be a topic here, a, a popular topic here in Albany related to state dollars in the budget and policies that aim to address this issue. The governor's budget plan proposes $2.4 billion to address the migrant crisis. Today in the budget hearing, the mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, calls on the state asking lawmakers to take up half of the migrant costs in New York City. They know how serious this crisis is, uh, and our concern is that the federal government is not doing its job. Some Democratic lawmakers say they are and continue to be supportive partners of costs associated with the migrant crisis in New York City, but they also say they need more help from leaders in Washington, D.C. I believe as a state, we are trying to be responsive uh, and we will continue to have the conversation about how responsive we can be, but again, we do need federal partners. Some Republican lawmakers concerned about spending on the migrant crisis say there needs to be a longer-term solution, emphasizing securing the border. The governor has continually said a longer-term solution should come from leaders in D.C. She also calls on Republican lawmakers in Albany to encourage their colleagues in D.C. to help facilitate immigration reform. Um, if she really wanted to do something, she'd stop playing political games. She would ask the leader of her party, the President of the United States, to enforce the law as it is already on the books. Um, making the illegal crossings legal with a bill in Congress is not solving the problem. This is going to be an ongoing topic here in Albany. And in terms of the budget, we are still in the middle of budget hearings. So we have a ways to go before we will see a final budget here in Albany. But we'll be following this process and this issue as it develops. Reporting live, Elise Klein, WENY News. Renata, back to you.